Little Flames TV video series happening over the course of this uh, month of July and into August, but uh, good to catch up with a few new signings and a few re-signings for the Calgary Flames. And uh, now we're joined by uh, Kevin Rooney, one of the uh, newcomers to the Calgary Flames organization on a two-year deal on uh, free agent frenzy. And I guess maybe just start with uh, the idea of going into unrestricted free agency conversations and what that experience was like and eventually uh, landing on Calgary as the place to start. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a fun process and, um, certainly stressful when it comes down to the end, but luckily it was my uh, second time going through it. So I kind of had an idea of how it was going to play out. And um, The two years before I had been talking to Calgary and I knew it had been an option going then and I was excited about it, but ended up choosing New York. But this time around, uh, excited to pick uh, Calgary and I was happy that, um, you know, they came back around with me on this a couple of years later. Yeah, I know. And it's great. Congratulations, by the way, on the deal. And maybe just, um, you know, a thought on, on on the organization, really what stood out to you in the process and those conversations and what gave you a really good feel? Well, I just think it started from, you know, management. I mean, right away, they've always felt like they've liked me as a, as a player and as a person. And I felt like uh, it was it would be a good fit for me and um, definitely a new experience. I've played most of my career in the East and so I'm not as familiar with Calgary, but I've heard nothing but amazing things about uh, the people of Calgary and the city of Calgary. So I'm, I'm super excited to go up and play for a really uh, cool Canadian market and, you know, get a new experience for, you know, me and my fiance. And yeah, it's going to be a fun two years and we're pumped to get up there already. Well, and you were just mentioning, obviously, uh, you know, back in, in Massachusetts, getting a, an opportunity to chain with uh, a fellow now Calgary Flame and uh, Noah Hannafin. Uh, maybe what's the conversations been like? What's he been uh, sharing with you? And maybe how have the off-season workouts been going? Yeah, they've been going great. Uh, it's awesome to have a guy on the team uh, right there, especially on a signing day when you can quickly ask questions. And um, he said nothing but amazing things about the people of Calgary. And that's mostly what I asked him about is the city and the people up there. And it's been all all positive. And, um, you know, he told me about some cool places to visit that I might not have knew about. And, um, you know, talked about the team a little bit and the guys in the team. And uh, it really seems like they have a close knit group and I'm excited to join it. I mean, you don't get to the, uh, you don't win the division without a group like that, a special group. So I'm excited to be a part of it and excited to give, uh, you know, everything I have for the city of Calgary and my teammates there. Well, you talk about um, off season training and I know even here around these parts, summer will feel abbreviated and that'll be the same for you. That's what happens when you go deep into the playoffs. Uh, how about just a thought on the experience, uh, New York Rangers and uh, the playoff run you guys had? I mean, watching, obviously, from afar, uh, Madison Square Garden looked absolutely electric. But, uh, you know, what about getting that opportunity to run deep in the playoffs for the first time in your career? Yeah, it was really special. I mean, we had a special group. I mean, I think the only team that kicked our butts was Calgary last year. And uh, that was another reason I was so excited to join that team, just knowing how hard they are to play against. Um, but, yeah, the, the experience in the playoffs was – was really special. Madison Square Garden was was rocking every night. And it was just cool to you know be able to be a part of it and you know contribute and playing a lot of games in the playoffs. And I really feel that I've gained some experience that I can you know take with me to Calgary. And yeah, obviously a really good team up in Calgary too. So I'm hoping that uh, we can have that same experience because um, you know before the before the season in New York, no one really thought we would go that far or we'd even make it to the playoffs. So. Um, that's why the game's always played on the ice, and I'm super excited to join the, join those guys up there in Calgary. Uh, and, and same here. Scotiabank sat alone. I mean, this place was vibrating, too. I mean, there's nothing like playoff hockey. Is that kind of, you know, now as you get a little bit older, you've been around the league a little bit longer, kind of what, you know, drives you now is to get those opportunities to be in those positions like that? Yeah, definitely. And that was something I was thinking about uh, going into free agency. Like, I wanted to be have that ex same experience I just had Um a couple seasons before I was more on rebuilding type teams and um, it's great to get your foot into the door. But as you get older, you realize, you know, these opportunities don't come around a lot. And um, I really feel that Calgary's built something special over the last two years. Um, so I'm excited to come in for two years and, and see where it goes and try to provide depth for the team and, and help in really any way I can. Uh, we mentioned Noah Hannafin, also some familiarity. You guys crossed paths with uh, Blake Coleman as well in New Jersey, correct? Yeah, uh, really close with Blake. Uh, it was at his wedding uh, down in Texas. Um, so he was another guy I was able to talk with. Uh, he was huge in, you know, helping me actually get to the NHL. We were both uh, penalty kill uh, partners together for my first season in New Jersey. And I, I just remember how much he helped me and 
Uh, it's been amazing to see his career grow. And yeah, he's been a guy I've been certainly leaning on as far as, you know, questions and whatnot, but the, but the whole group really has been amazing. Everyone's reached out um, from top to bottom. So it's, I've been lucky. Good to hear. Good to hear. And, and maybe just one last thing before we let you go, you mentioned penalty kill back in Jersey alongside uh, Blake, but uh, you know, as far as you as a player and what uh, Flames fans can kind of look forward to seeing. Yeah, I think um, I'm a fourth line center that's, um, you know, been pretty consistent in that role, defensive role, um, can kill penalties, can play late in games, can kill, kill time. Um, I really think that my offensive game um, is one thing that I think can be a little bit more consistent. I've shown, you know, spurts throughout my career of being able to score at this level. And I'm really hoping I can put it together for a full uh, 82 game season now. And um, yeah, I just want to be a good teammate on and off the ice and try to help the team in any way I can. Well, good stuff. Good, uh, good meeting you. Maybe just uh, before we let you go, this is this will be the last one for you, I promise. Uh, but what's the rest of the summer look like? Uh, I know workout, uh, skating, training, all that stuff, but uh, enjoying some time, some downtime as well. Yeah, we get. I'm kind of at that age. You got a couple more weddings uh, to do <laughs> yeah. this summer. It's been the summer of weddings, but uh, obviously a lot of fun celebrating those. Um, my parents uh, recently bought a, a new home in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. So. Um, they move in the first week of August. So hopefully try to get down there for a couple weekends. Uh, but most of the time, uh, August picks up uh, on the ice and in the gym. So, But hopefully get to spend some more time with my family before I uh, head out to Calgary. Good stuff, man. It was a pleasure meeting you and uh, look forward to seeing you here in Calgary for the first time coming up soon. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it.